Hello everyone, this is Kay with Japan National Tourism Organization. In this video series, I'd like to take you on a tour of Japan's different regions to share with you what makes each one special in its own right and to give you an idea of what you can do and expect while traveling to them. Japan has 10 different regions which are further segmented into 47 prefectures. Each area has its own something special with unique dialects, customs, and cultures to explore, and every region has great day trip options to maximize your trip. So join me as we travel across Japan. Make sure to take note of what inspires you most so you can save it for future travel planning. Okinawa, Japan's southernmost prefecture and region, is a chain of islands. It has its own history as an independent kingdom and has distinctly subtropical climate. Fun fact, it is also the birthplace of karate. While visiting, definitely explore the ruins and restored castles of the Ryukyu Kingdom and the magnificent beaches and coastlines that house a dizzying array of coral and undersea life. Experience mangrove jungle cruising, whale watching, dragon boat races, rare flora and fauna, and an island mindset that will make you forget time and follow the sun. Let's start off on the main island of Okinawa, as most Okinawa adventures start here. Naha Airport is the gateway to all of the Okinawa Islands. The domestic airport welcomes planes from dozens of locations across Japan, with budget airlines catering for the traveler on the shoestring budget. The city of Naha is just a 10-minute drive from the airport or a few stops on the monorail. There's plenty for you to see and do in Naha, including many remnants of the Ryukyu Kingdom. It's a vibrant city with an active nightlife. Most of it is centered around Koksai Dori, or International Street, which runs for almost two kilometers through the heart of Naha. You'll discover bustling covered arcades leading off Koksai Dori with stalls of local produce and handicrafts and street performers on traffic-free Sundays. Far from bustling shopping streets and neon nightlife, Miyako Island is a peaceful getaway with white sandy beaches and coral reefs where hitting the beach is the number one pastime. Expect your visit to be full of sunbathing and staring wistfully out to sea as the strains of daily life ebb away. Explore on foot or by bike and find peace of mind on Miyako Island. The Kerama Island chain is an idyllic place for a holiday, especially if you like hiking, hitting the beach, whale watching, snorkeling, and diving. The stunning blue of the ocean around these islands is so distinctive that it has its own shade name for it, Kerama Blue. Most of the Kerama Islands are uninhabited, with the most popular destinations being Tokashiki, Zamami, and Aka. From mountain ranges and dense jungle to pristine coral beaches and sun-baked villages, island hopping across the six main islands that make up the Yaeyama chain is well worth the effort. New Ishigaki Airport is the main transportation hub of these islands. There are direct flights from mainland Japan and Okinawa's Naha Airport. You can visit the neighboring islands by ferry from Ishigaki Island, which is an excellent destination for snorkeling and diving. Nearby Taketomi is a great place to experience a traditional Okinawan village, which you can do by foot, bicycle, or water buffalo cart ride. Iriomote Island is covered by dense jungle and mangrove forests. Though not known for its beaches, Iriomote is a paradise for dedicated hikers, nature trekkers, kayakers, and those just looking for adventure. If you want to really get adventurous, skilled divers can venture to Yonaguni Island where they will find the mysterious underwater formations that may have been the sunken ruins of some ancient civilization. You can also see hammerhead sharks as you dive, but currents are strong, so we must stress that only skilled divers should apply. Okinawa is a blue zone with a very high life expectancy attributed mostly to their nutrient-rich diet and lifestyle, so be sure to enjoy plenty of delicious local dishes like Goya Champuru as well as Okinawa's signature spirit, Awamori. From mainland Japan, most flights to Okinawa's Naha Airport depart from Tokyo or Osaka. If you're coming from China, South Korea, Singapore, Taiwan, or Hong Kong, there are direct international flights to Okinawa. There are so many destinations to choose from when it comes to visiting Japan that sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming. Just know that you really can't go wrong. No matter what part of Japan you visit, you'll have plenty of immersive activities, historical sites, and great outdoor adventures to choose from. That's all for us this time, but be sure to hit like and subscribe for more helpful Japan travel tips.